Right, so I don't know how to best answer your question other than to actually show you what I actually mean. Um, so if you go over to the menu here, um, I'm trying to do this with one hand, go into game settings, you've got PS2 upscaler, um, converts standard definition video, and displays it in HD resolution, okay, and PS2 smoothing reduces the roughness. So these are meant to be only played on, I believe, you know, an old CRT monitor. And, you know, people want to output them to their big TVs. This is 65-inch OLED. So it's decent quality. <clears throat> it does run an emulator. Um, and it uses hardware to run that emulation. So it's not pure software emulation. So you get better compatibility. So what I'm noticing here is, you know, the, the blacks are very dark, which is great, which is what you want. Loading is nice and clear. It does ask me if I want 50 hertz. It doesn't matter, it's going through HDMI. So it is full screen, I'm trying to get this as best as I can because I'm holding the remote so it's going to, so I just want it to start. So you got, I mean, obviously it's an old, older console, they only had certain resolutions at the time. So we are just converting it over and upscaling it. Um, let's see if I've got a profile on here. Yep. getting close so yeah I mean the quality here it's okay I mean it's converted over I'm trying to get in close for you but yeah I mean it's that's not that's not clear as a bell as you can see but it never would have been it <laughs> But yeah, I think if you look online, the best way to play it is on the CRT TV, because that's the way it was designed. It's just that if you want to have the convenience of playing it, I mean, for me, I've never really questioned the quality. It's always been as I've remembered it on the PlayStation, running through a, a HDMI connection. I did have somebody um, who bought one said, oh God, the, 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 the graphics are terrible. And then when I told him to stick on smoothing and the other options, he was happy. Um, so yeah, it does smooth it, smooth it out and make it a little bit better. So yeah, I don't know. It's a. I think. I think it's just one of those that it's going to be subjective, really. People are going to say, "Oh yeah, no, it's fine." Other people will be like, "Oh my god, it's terrible." I just. I think it's okay. You know, I've always been happy with it. I certainly don't want to be connecting up and converting through HDMI the the PS2 and have a PS3 and a PS1, you know, three different consoles all hooked up. It's nice to have it all in one. And this, for me, has always been absolutely, I've always been happy with it. But everyone's opinions vary, so which is why when you ask me a question, it's almost like it's down to a matter of opinion. It's like, I'm happy with it. You might not be. But yeah, I mean, this is a very fast-paced graphical game, Burnout, and you know, I've always been, I've always been fine with it. But you know, everyone's opinion is different. Now, if you want crisp, clear quality running through, then maybe you want to buy a a machine that can actually emulate it, um, and then the emulation can 
sort out all the graphics for you. There are emulators out there that can do that. Um, but if you want the original Sony, the one they produced, backwards compatible, uh, this is how it was intended to be played, and this is what you get. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Bye.